Hello everyone and here we are at Chicken and Chips in Los Angeles and I'm here with Tiffany Eats and this is Psycho Food. I forgot to introduce myself first. <laughs> we have this beautiful chicken plate with us today and this is rotisserie chicken but then we have some different wraps. We have a wrap, we have a sandwich and I'm kind of excited because we were in the back and all of the way that they were making it was so fresh. Everything was all natural. I was like what? So this comes from like an Australia like kind of chicken and chips like combo that they do. So this even if it's fries, it's actually called chips in Australia. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's really nice too because they make it in-house and they're super long, guys. It's like longer than my fingers. <laughs> Do you want to try it? my face? <laughs> I got double. Ooh, yeah, so, so it's like Australian style chicken and chips. So mm -hmm. kind of like how in England they call it fish and chips. Just That's true. Do you want to eat the wrapper? There's also, oh, they're yeah. also known for all of their sauces. Yeah. So they gave like, us one, two, three, four, six different sauces to try. I know. And all then, different flavors. I know. I'm so excited to try it because they have like this truffle thing that they're really like popular for too. So we also have an, a truffle infused like ch or sandwich. Oh yeah, sure. Actually, it's under here. It's under here. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> this is their wrap. This is a newer item on their menu. They haven't really, really like, released it yet. But so they wanted to get it more popular. It has rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. The chips are actually in there too. Stuffing mm -hmm. and gravy. Yeah, everything in one wrap. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty okay. awesome. Mm. The first thing I had was the stuffing. Mm -hmm. Oh, stuffing's really good. It's actually really sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, wow. Chicken is so good. It's really lean. And there's cranberries in there too. What? Oh my god. And the chips, like the fries, it makes it so smushy and gushy. <laughs> I don't know what the other word is. Can we put some sauce on it? Yeah. I kind of want to do brown gravy. Brown gravy? Okay. So, do they give us a spoon? Um, would you bring like complimentary spoons? <laughs> to everywhere we go. Oh, JK, it's just a fork. <laughs> it low-key feels like I'm eating Thanksgiving, like a Thanksgiving. I know. But we'll instead of turkey, it's chicken. We'll do a, a foodie, foodies giving. That's <laughs> a good one. I know. Mm, oh my god. This is good. Definitely gravy things, but it kind of just like... Like heavier. Heavier than gravy. It's like peppery. Mm -hmm. It's really savory. It kind of combines everything together. This is honestly so good. The stuffing, I keep tasting the stuffing. The stuffing is the one that's like really, really sweet. I'm obsessed with the stuffing. The stuffing literally like spreads from like the middle and then like sprouts a flower <laughs> through everything else on the chicken. It does, because it's really soft. So it's able yeah, to so it can like spread. I'm only like, eating like one side. It's like literally like, like a staircase. I, get <laughs> I need to do that. Should we try another sauce? Mm -hmm. Which one should we do? Um, do you want to do, do we do spicy? Or, okay, so spicy? Let's do a spicy one. Yeah. So they told us that the uh, Sauces are made with the like an aioli as oh, yeah. the foundation, mm -hmm. and then they flavor it with other stuff so that you can turn the base into spicy by adding sriracha. Mm -hmm. You can infuse it with like truffle. And I could see, really see like the chef too. He's been like innovating all these sauces. He was telling us about this like cherry cherry barbecue sauce. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he created it too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's good. Mm -hmm. I got a tip. Got a little kick of the uh, sriracha. I think it worked well with the, with the stuffing. Are you talking about the stuffing? Dude, I'm actually really impressed. So chicken and chips, they opened in November last year in 2019, but then all of this like COVID hit. So they were forced to like kind of close because of LA. But then now they're like reopening and you can tell that they're so busy. <laughs> We've been here for maybe 45 minutes. And yeah. There's always been somebody ordering yeah. um, their sandwiches at the front. There's, I know. It's been a steady stream of customers. Yeah. Which I'm really happy about mm -hmm. because it's really hard. It's really hard for a small business out here. To yeah, especially. And then we were just talking like to the owner too. But he said he really wanted to stand out in LA from all the other chicken places here. Because everyone in LA likes the new like Nashville chicken, Southern Fried Chicken, and like chicken sandwiches. So then here, they were thinking of doing like a rotisserie chicken instead, which is the Australian style. And so now he's been infusing all this like rotisserie chicken and like chips and everything that he's doing. But I think what stands out is like 
they're also their sauces too because they have a nice layer of everything that they're also putting on top of the rotisserie chicken. So and it's so always many new. To choose from. Yeah, and they said that they were constantly making new stuff on their menu too because they were. He was telling me they were thinking of doing a Taco Tuesday. I'm like, they need to be there. <laughs> it's really about. It's like they focus on chicken, their special kind of rotisserie chicken, and then they think about all the different ways that they can apply it into mm -hmm. different dishes. And so you end up with starting with a classic rotisserie, then you mm -hmm. go into like a chicken sandwich yeah. and make it into a, a, a wrap. wrap. Yeah. You can do anything as long as you have like the protein, but like I the know. base of everything that they do is this like amazing rotisserie chicken. Yeah, There's it's so, so much bomb. flavor there. Do you want to try another sauce? Uh-huh. <laughs> Should we do, um, what is this one? Blonde gravy? Wow, so we're taking blonde gravy. Maybe it's because it's like the lighter color. <laughs> Mmm, tastes like the um, this brown one, the brown gravy. But not as heavy. Definitely not as heavy. Which one do you like? Do you like this blonde gravy or do you like the brown gravy? I think I like that one better because it, um, you do. it's like, it's got it mm -hmm. Dude, but And it really does tie everything together, but this is also really good too. Mm -hmm. I keep eating one side. I kind of think I was like, do I want to... Do you switch wanna, to a different dish? I was thinking of switching. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I, I'm gonna devour this, no joke. I'm gonna save here. <laughs> it's looking full. That was delicious. <laughs> Should we try the other <laughs> sandwich? Yeah. So this is their fried fried chicken sandwich, right? Yeah. And they called it, they said it's a dill. Yeah, a dill thing. Dill sandwich. Isn't it cool? So we saw them frying it in the back. Yeah. They battered it, dipped it in like yeah. an egg, egg mixture. Yeah. And wait, this is the one that he was talking about, how this is like a brioche bun. Mm -hmm. So there's actually like no dairy in the bun, and it's supposed to be sweeter. So I'm kind of excited because it's really, really like orange. <laughs> the smell good. It does. It's that briny, pickle kind of yeah. scent. Mmm. Definitely had the dough. Like it's a little sour. Holy moly, oh, this is so good. Is it good? Yeah, yeah right we're now. doing a video. We just took the like... first bite of this. Yeah, a lot of food there. Oh, wow, look. What? Do you want to say hi? Yeah, do you want to say hi? This is our, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's so good. Thank you so much for having all of this. I'm oh glad you like it. It's yeah. amazing. Dill one is really, really good. Right. Yeah. I love how, like, pickle flavors. Yeah. I think it yeah. really well. And we've been, like, dipping in each of, like, the sauces. My god, the sauces are so good. What's that? Yeah. Like, good. Yeah, like it. Crust? There's so much texture. When we, when we were seeing him toss, like, the crust, I mean, the chicken into, like, the crust and, like, the batter, he was, like, really mixing it. And you can see, like, the flakes on it. And they're, like, each breadcrumbs. I don't like it when, like, chicken or when, like, places when they have, like, a batter or, like, a fried thing. You can see that it's a different, complete layer. And you can take and out you the can whole layer. Like, off. Yeah, I, I hate it when that's like that. But then this one, each, like, bite is its own, like, little crispy, crispy breading. And it's actually really nice because whenever you have this kind of, like, Heavier, fatter, you know, fattier mm -hmm. sort of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to have something to like cut through everything. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Acid to sort of cut through everything. I like this one. <laughs> I know. The thing I like about this one too, the bun is actually pretty big. Mm. So you don't, you're not fearful of the inside falling out. <laughs> I always feel like if I'm eating like a burger or a sandwich, every all the inside's gonna. Be... The dill flavor is really nice and herby. Oh yeah, and definitely. And it gives you like a freshness. I highly, highly recommend this. We should try it. We should just like cut a piece off. Yeah, let's try it. Um, which one do you think is easier? Do you think the drumstick would be easier? Because we can just like it twist off, yeah. it. So this is the real like rotisserie chicken. Ooh. <laughs> it was like anticlimactic because <laughs> I thought it was going to be like there a cheese bowl. <laughs> dip it in this sauce. Oh. Dip it in this sauce. Chicken and jibs coming through. I know. Just cut it. Yeah, maybe we'll cut like strips of it. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is our like makeshift mukbang. Like, Ladder. <laughs> but that. Oh boy. Ground beef. Well then, should I do it with the gravy? I'll just pick it up with my hand. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the rotisserie chicken, the finale, guys. Okay. Brown gravy. Brown gravy. Where's that? Secure. Gotta secure the bag. Okay, okay ready? Cheers. Mmm. Rotisserie. Dude, I feel like I haven't had rotisserie in so long. Good rotisserie. Mm -hmm. Costco. Yeah, they're like a bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, I know, really. <laughs> And that, that's not even like the roast here, too. Oh man, that's good. You can see them actually like turning like the rotisserie chicken. The chicken is really like tender, too. And I like how everything slides off like really easily. Really good flavor. Mm -hmm. so the truffle. Oh my god, I even try, like the truffle. <laughs> Let me get a slice. The truffle has a bit of that um, mustard seeds in it, too. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe it's like mixed with Dijon. But oh my god. That's really good. That's Rambo. Dude, this was literally like the last video that, that Tiff and I did. <laughs> because last time when we were at the Grapes, there was like so many like motorcycles. And then now there's so many like planes. Helicopters. <laughs> Helicopters. Buses. Everyone's like out. Someone's out to get us. I, I can tell. But oh my god. Okay, wait. The truffle is actually really good. I like that one and the... Brown, brown gravy. gravy. Oh my yeah. god, what? I love truffle flavors too. This is delicious. It elevates everything. Uh huh. I feel like it's more fancy. Yum. Thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chicken and Chips, for having us today. My name is Nina, aka Psycho Food, and this is Tiffany from Tiffany Eats. Yeah, we just want to give a big shout out to Jones Thank you. because he was so awesome. It was so nice talking to him and learning about their food and their story, what they're doing. But catch us later and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Woo! Bye! <laughs>